A total of 2.88 million international tourists visited the Philippines in the first five months of 2017. The figure is 14% higher than the total arrivals recorded in the same period of 2016. For the month of May alone, foreign arrivals exceeded 530,000, breaking the 500,000 mark in a single month, despite the imposition of travel advisory notices by some countries last April following safety and security issues in the central Visayas provinces of Cebu and Bohol. Overall, we still project a 10% growth in foreign arrivals as we see the projected slowdown from July to September being offset by the traditionally strong fourth quarter driven by foreigners and overseas Filipino workers who spend holidays in the Philippines. Collier's retains its 6.6 .6 million foreign arrival forecast for 2017, lower than the tourism department's forecast of 7 million. The growth in domestic tourism is being fueled by millennials, with Filipinos aged 15 to 34 accounting for more than half of the 42.1 million domestic travelers recorded from April to September of 2016. According to the Tourism Department, the local travelers made a total of 91.2 million trips during the period under review. In Metro Manila, hotel developers are already responding to this demand by building hotels in strategic locations across the capital. Ayala, for instance, has been aggressive in opening Seda hotels within its integrated townships. Rockwell Land is ramping up its accommodation facilities through its Aruga brand. Philinvest is working on a new brand that will specifically cater to millennials. And Double Dragon is planning to build more Jinjiang hotels in the country's capital and other urban areas as it intends to more than double its room count to about 2,000 by 2020. Overall, we expect the completion of more than 1,700 new hotel rooms for the remainder of the year. Collius recommends that hotel developers take advantage of the rising number of foreign and domestic tourists by implementing the following measures. First, development of more affordable hotels in the provinces given the continued rise in domestic tourists. Among the most viable provincial locations for hotel development are Negros Occidental, Cavite, Bohol, Cebu, Camarinasur, Cagayan de Oro, Davao, Iloilo, and Clark and Pampanga. Second, more aggressive construction of three and four star hotels in Metro Manila, especially within master plan communities or townships. And lastly, improvement of loyalty programs for regular clients.